Nur and welcome to my channel. So today I am going to share with you guys a secondhand book haul. And all these books that I got, they're all secondhand. And uh, I have eight books to share with you guys. So it looks, yeah, eight books. Awesome. Okay, awesome. Okay. So I will just get started with it. Uh, I don't know which book that I bought first, so I'm just gonna pick a book and yeah, talk about it. So the first book that I got is Flowers for Algonon and I read this when I was in school in secondary 2 when I was 14 years old and I read this for literature but I didn't read the extended version of it. It's only like a mini short version of the book and um, it's really interesting it's about <coughs> um, Charlie Garden who has a low IQ and he's being chosen to be part of this science project or science experiment to increase his intelligence and along with him it's is a friend named Algonon who is currently the white mouse who has this who undergoes this science experiment too and has high intelligence and all of that sort so um this book is being written in diary form diary entry form so um it's really interesting how the book or more like how his um entries changes from day one all the way until towards the end of the experiment and although I only read like a short version of it, but it is really captivating and really emotional. So I thought that I should just go for the whole full extended version of it. And um, yeah, I get to know more about Charlie Gordon and his friend Elgin. The next book that I got is a nonfiction, and I've been really interested in reading this book. The book is Anne Frank, The Diary of a Young Girl. And uh, I went to Amsterdam for backpacking in March and I went to the Anne Frank house and so I saw firsthand you know what where Anne Frank stays during the Nazi occupation and the bookshelves the bookshelves and the annex and where she and her family hid um, behind the bookshelf so I was really interested to read her diary entry one of those um, books that you know shows how people were back then in that period of time so yeah I was really interested and so I got this next book that I got was um, Toto Chan The Little Girl at the Window by Tetsuko Kuroyonagi and it's written originally in Japanese um, and translated to English by Dorothy Britton and um, I grew up with this book actually I don't had a chance to read it but all my friends did and they said it's really really good and uh, it's about this uh, girl named Toto Chan who goes to a school different from normal schools um, where, he, where her headmaster um, has a different way of um, teaching his students. The story was uh, is held in um, Tokyo during World War II. So yeah, so that's Toto Chan. Yeah. Um, the next book I got is A Week in Paris by Rachel Horry. I'm really bad at surname, so I should Google that and learn her name. But anyway, um, and this is set in Paris obviously a week in Paris uh, and it's about uh, these two person or these two people um, one is this lady in 1937 and she's she has a dream of becoming a concert pianist and somehow the war breaks out so you know the war and then uh, 25 years later another lady um, who wanted to be well she is a violinist and she was on tour with her orchestra in Paris and somehow for some form of miracle when she is in Paris she has memories coming back to her 
um, and she realizes that she has been in this Paris, in city, the city of Paris. Um, and then she realizes that she she was here, like she has a connection um, with Paris for some reason. And so she has, apparently she has a address in her backpack. And so she went on a search to question that address and why does she have these memories and all of that stuff. So yeah, pretty interesting. Um, another book that I got is also set in France and it's uh, Tingale by Kristen Hanna. And the reason why I got this book uh, is, was because I was reading All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doyer. And it's really a really interesting book and really emotional. I had like withdrawals after finishing that book. So I wanted to read more of those books, you know, that kind of books um, situated at a period of time. So I googled and they recommend me this book. And so this book is about, of course, the World War II. And it tells the story of two sisters uh, named Rianne and Isabelle. And they live in France and Isabelle is the younger sister and Vianney is the older sister. And Vianney has is married, she's married um, and her husband has to go for war. So therefore Isabelle, the younger sister, has to come back to the countryside to um, be with her older sister. And so it tells the story of these two sisters during the war. And it also um, tests the strength of the sister's relationship. So I don't really know much about the book, just that you know it's about two sisters in the war and it's very emotional because there are a lot of reviews about it and they say that it was really an emotional read. So I, I am into emotional read books. The next book that I got is If On A Winter's Night, A Traveler. So um, the reason why I get this book was because I was in a bookshop one day and I saw this book and so I pick it up and I read the synopsis behind it and it says you go into a bookshop and buy If On A Winter's Night, A Traveler by Italo Calvino. You like it, but there is a printer's error in your copy. You take it back to the shop and get a replacement. but the replacement seems to be a totally different story. You try to track down the original book you were reading, but end up with a different narrative again. This remarkable novel leads you through many different books, including a detective adventure, a romance, a satire, an erotic story, a diary, and a quest. But the hero of them all is you, the reader. So, currently, I am the hero of the book, and I sort of determined how I how would I feel about the book at the end? At the end of the day, at the end of the book, how would I feel about it? So, yeah, I am very intrigued about this book because I have no what's it, what is it about, and apparently I am the hero of the book. Well, if that's not interesting, then what is? Right? Okay. And the second last book that I got is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I know this has lots of good reviews about it. A lot of good things has been said about this very great book. Um, of course, it's by Ransom Rick, so yeah, he's, he's a good writer, right? I heard lots of good things about this book. Um, and if you don't know, anything about this book um, but I'm pretty sure you should I'm pretty sure you would uh, it's about this boy named Jacob who goes into you know, he was walking at this island at the coast of the Wales and then he found um, this orphanage and it's apparently apparently when he went through this abandoned house um, he realizes that Miss Paragon's children are a little bit peculiar, peculiar and a little bit dangerous and um, there's a reason they were in this island and not on a country or on mainland 
and um, and then somehow they may still be alive. So it's supposed to be like a scary book. I don't know if it's a scary book or if it's a creepy, peculiar book because um, I've never read any scary books in my life um, because like they say, imagination is better than anything else in the world and you know, if you have scary imagination, it will scare the, the life out of you. So uh, this, this is kind of the main reason why I don't want to go into scary reading but yeah, this has lots of good reviews about it so I just thought that hey, you know, let's give it a try. <laughs> right? It's not so dangerous, right? It's not that scary, right? I don't, I don't know. Okay, and the last book that I got, um, I'm really excited for this book, and it's The Kite Runner by Khalid Hussaini. And of course, I, I've read the second book, which is funny because I should have read the first book and then like the second book, but I read his second book, um, A Thousand Splendid Sons, and it, will, and it tells the story of two sisters. Not two sisters, and it tells the story of two women in um, Afghanistan. So this is the story of uh, two boys in Afghanistan. And of course, you know, I've read, I've read, I've watched the movie. It was so heartbreaking, and time and time and again, after I watched the movie, I would cry. It's really, really sad. And, and whoever who haven't read this book or who haven't watched the movie, please do. It's really, really moving. It will make you. Really, it will make you cry. Um, so yes, this book apparently doesn't have any synopsis because, as you can see, there are many praises on it. Praise one, praise two, praise three, and a praise. And the back of it is all the praise in the world. And they have like four pages of praise. So it has no synopsis. It won't tell you what the book is about unless you Google it. So when you're in a bookstore and you see this book, it has no story about it. It, has, it won't tell you anything about it. Which is really interesting because I'm pretty sure everybody knows this book. Some way or another, if you don't read it, you should. Like for me, I, I'm reading it. If you haven't watched the movie, you should. Yeah. So that is the cat writer. So those are all the books that I have. Second hand uh, that I bought second hand. So yeah, and also this is my first video, so um, it's pretty weird. I think no, it's not so good. But if you want me to do a book review, or if you want me to do any reviews of these books that I showed you, or any reviews whatsoever or book review, um, then just tell me on the comments below. Or yeah, and if you like this video and you think that it's good attempt good first attempt um give me a thumbs up at least i know it's an encouragement yeah okay so have a good day and see you guys soon